Yeah, um, Trevor, there's something that I wanted to talk about, and uh, it was brought by uh, uh, Kuro Kot, that there is bad manners in this country in terms of um, politicians. Yes, yeah. the political leadership. I think our politics yeah. uh, needs to be refined. Uh, because, you see, when you see, uh, you see a governor asking for 30 million, or a hundred million mm. for a health facility from the president. <laughs> that shows you where we are. Because really, we have allocated money to the county governments, mm. all right? And so if that money is not sufficient, mm. there are systems. Senator Mungatana here, his major role is to protect devolution and mm. county governments. Mm. When you see a member of parliament begging for 10 million shillings <laughs> from the president, to give to women groups and youth groups. Then the president tells him that, yeah, I've heard you. That matter, I think, will be taken to parliament uh, for, the, for the budgetary process. That shows you that we have elected members of parliament who don't even understand their mandates. How do I go to the president to beg for 10 million to take to my constituency? <laughs> The only thing I would do is to maybe change the CDF Act and allow mm -hmm. uh, that part of the 160 million that goes to my constituency mm -hmm. to be allocated for women or youth groups. Mm -hmm. Maybe that is what we may need to do. Mm -hmm. So we as a country need to understand, even our leaders don't understand their mandates. Yeah. That is where we are. And that is why we have some of these problems that we see. But I want to... Some of your own rebels yes. said that they are shifting camp because they're looking... Because of looking for development. Now, you see, as a nation, if we are embracing President... It's a very lame argument because the word development, Let development is already devolved. Yeah. So when they use that argument, they're actually being politically dishonest. Okay. So if we are embracing, a if we have embraced the presidential system, then let us operate as a presidential system. How is it happening in the US? How come Republicans have not formed the government? The government is a government of Democrats. Mm. But you have not seen even a single Republican defecting to the, the, the Democratic side to bring so-called development to their regions. Are these people not elected? They are also elected, including senators are representing specific areas. Members of the House of Commons are representing the specific areas, the, the, the lower house. Is so this, the problem we have is either we go back to parliamentary system where the government was part of the house yeah. and, and and opposition was in the house. We have official opposition. So if you are running for president, you also run for a parliamentary seat. Okay. And uh, in the event you don't win a president, you win a parliamentary seat, you sit in, in yeah, parliament. But I hope you will allow me to talk about the issue of visit to Nyanza because you yes, asked. Yes, go ahead. In fact, you can talk about it now. Because you know, let me tell you something. Why did you about do welcome the president in your backyard? First, I was away, but even if I was around, I wouldn't have won. <laughs> because to me, yeah. I believe that the president's visit was purely to sell UDA agenda. It had nothing to do with development. There is nothing new that Ruto brought to Nyanza. Mm -hmm. Let it go on record. All those things he was claiming to launch had been launched during President Kibaki's time. What we are waiting for is those projects to be completed so that they could be commissioned. The launching and commissioning are different. Let the president come and commission completed projects. You cannot can launch I, a project twice. Can I? Let him finish. Let me just finish, <laughs> yeah. because I come from that region. <laughs> yeah. I don't know whether Mungatana, you are more facts. <laughs> no, this project oh, no, I, I want One to of the something. projects <laughs> is in my, the constituency I represent, 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> The, the so-called Solis Sindo Magunga Road, mm. Meta Road. Yeah. This that was road was Kitambo. started on, in September 2021. Mm. 316 million was released to the contractor. He was doing 14 kilometers. He has done all the earthworks. What is remaining is for the completion. He has he's been demanding for payment so that he continues with the work. Mm. The contractor is not on site, even after the president left. What do you need? Mm. Give this contractor money. Don't give him 58 million. He was only given 58 million. He could not proceed with the work. Give this contractor money to complete the work, even to complete the 14 kilometers or 20 kilometers. Come and commission those 20 kilometers. Then the work progresses to the completion of 74. But don't come and play politics with our people. It does not help. And by the way, let me tell you, and that is where I was heading to. Laws <laughs> are very discernible. 
voters, by the way. <laughs> People think Luos are emotional as voters. We are not. Luos are very discernible. You cannot lie to us <laughs> once, twice. Give me, give me. If you come as a visitor <laughs> to Nyanza, <laughs> if you come as a visitor, Luos would hardly chase you away. Hardly. Unless there's something that triggers it. But if you want to know how Luos value you, look at how they are treating your host. If Mbadi invites you, and when Mbadi starts to speak, they tell him, we don't live at Ukupendi. They will not tell you as a visitor, but they are telling Mbadi that you are telling us we don't want to hear. So the president should take that as a lesson. Okay. If he's coming for development in Nyanza, yeah. let it be development and let people see results. Okay. He told us when he was there on Saturday <clears throat> that on Tuesday, which was two days ago, he was to visit Museven in Uganda and sort out the issue of the lake. Yeah. I didn't see Ruto leave this country on Tuesday. So don't lie to our people. Okay.